Ratatouille. Pads crap out. Ah! <laughs> what is happening? In water. Ah! What the heck is going on here? <laughs> what the hell? Tommy. What kind of screwed up punishment is that? Hi everyone. I'm Super Floxes. And welcome to the Bazaar and Bootleg. I'm gonna take you on an adventure. An adventure of drug induced plots, god awful rip offs, and animations that couldn't afford a Twinkie. Here on this adventure, we will see a dog faced octopus, rats stealing from restaurants, and who knows what other weird things we'll find. Are you ready? You better be. So after my computer chucks one of the biggest hissies I've ever seen, I'm finally back! Hurrah! So to help get this series off the ground, let's watch a religious cartoon! Yay! Although calling this a religious cartoon is a uh, kind of a stretch. That's clearly what they were going for, but the most we get is the Bible being mentioned like... Three times? And thank God for that! Religion is a subject I want to stay as far away from as a six-legged flying pink thing can. We start off in a spacey shot, where the most overused spacey music ever plays. When Heaven to Betsy, what are you? Dorbies. This is a Dorby. What's a Dorby, you ask? Your guess is as good as mine. My guess? Unholy Demon Spawns! Tiny little balls, I see Dorbies. Why don't they go away? Ah. Uh, <laughs> theme song is too much of for me. Pro tip. Do not have a theme song that treats your characters like the annoying abominations that they are. A theme song probably shouldn't insult your main characters. I mean, for God's sake, the Captain Planet theme song gets this right. The Mega Mac Daddy of Ecology. Ugh! No! Bad theme song! Bad! You go in the corner and think about what you did wrong to a genuinely good theme song. Oh, hi, framing de- Oh, bye, framing device. Ugh! Camera issues and CGI. That would take two seconds to fix. Uh, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Old Delta Darby, and most people around here call me Delta. But you can call me Delta. Oh, that's an omen for the humor in this thing, isn't it? Uh... Hey, Delta! Hey man, come over here, you never guess what I found the other day when I was rummaging through a rancid pile of unwanted, untainted fish from the belly navel. Ah! What in God's name are you? You know what? I just love corn fritters. Don't you? There's just something about corn fritters, man. It just makes you feel full. Oh God, oh, does it doesn't not, does not understand the concept behind food. Doesn't understand the concept behind food. It's an Kill it. Kill it with water. <laughs> so he pulls that out of his crotch. All right. And he goes on and on about nonsense crap, rambling so much it sounds like he wants to be on Rick and Morty. Shame he missed the most important step about improvising. Being funny! I tell you what, now y'all, that was Fleck. Now, he's always around here someplace and he is crazy. Yeah, I got nothing. What do you say? Life in general always come back to making decisions. And not just any decisions, mind you. The right decision. The one the good Lord wants you to make. Well, okay. I decided to watch make a video about this thing. So clearly I desperately need this moral to prevent this from happening again. So he introduces Jack and Mary Jane. These two have no personality beyond being caricatures. So that's quick and easy. See, the isolation of the parallelogram is concurrent to the vertical side of the polygon. Now what is exciting about this is that they both are related side according to MacGyver's theorem of gumstick tubing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> the entire class has been satanically hypnotized by the teacher on speed! What do you mean I'm looking 
too deep into this. What's really exciting about this is the fact that the sum of the total of all sides is 90 degrees. <laughs> wow. Wow. Literally, all of that was wrong. The degrees of the angles add up to 180. Why do you think sides have angles? So, what this scene is telling me is that this school is teaching them wrong information. I can see why Jackie Boy over here wants to skip the school now. Is... Is that Pepe? Why did he give her a ransom note? So they leave the classroom with the excuse of going to the nurse. Is that an oddish? Code red. Code red. Escape wow. attempt detected. Complete lockdown in T minus three minutes. What? Wait, what? Huh? What? The, huh? I'd comment about the awful lighting in this thing, and that Mary Jane randomly has a grappling hook, but what I'm just a bit more concerned about is why this girl is apparently trying to get them killed. A boulder goes after them, Indiana Jones style. What if they did just need to go to the nurse, would the school try to murder them anyway? Wait, what are the other students doing during this panicky time? Wait, where did Jack's legs and face go? Mm. Hi, hello, how are ya? Who are you? Gah! Do they like Miss Everend in this thing? Now we have a story about this guy from Sweden who's moved to America and wants clothes to fit in. So he goes to... Diggs? Duds? Did this thing just reference Dick Doug? I remember we had a drummer, his name was Styx, Catfish Willie. Now, Styx could play that show, he could play the skins, you know what I'm saying? The only problem was he only had one drumstick, and he had a bad left arm, it wasn't nothing but a nub. Ah, uh, hey, Delta buddy, FOCUS! Q Animation Abomination Mark 27 going to the dance party slash clove shop. Q Animation Abomination Mark 28 showing himself. The porn I'm using the backgrounds make me feel really awkward. Uh, um, uh, uh, what's in this drink? Who's the blue guy and why is he going mad? You darn good. I wanna watch Gravity Falls now. Stop zooming in on the horrific faces! They make me feel like they're gonna jump out of my screen and suck my soul out of my aching eyes! Q song! With awesome and totally not headache inducing seizure lights! On the plus side, this song sounds. actually pretty good! The only redeeming part of this thing is the music. I do not want to spend too much time in this scene for the sake of my eyes. Ow! Ah! Okay, are the plots in this thing so complex they need two framing devices? Back to Jack and Mary Jane. They appear to be either in a horror movie or a quiet part of London. Either way, horrifying. Stop. With. The. Faces. Jack spawns a microphone from his skin and cue song. Again. No credit cards, no beer. Wait, credit card? Jack's singing voice is mm, annoying. To fall apart Seems like a good place to start To say the least But then the trumpeting screws pop up and I love things again Wait, what's with the flinging camera? Excluding some of the lyrics and visuals and Jack's awful voice This song is, once again, surprisingly good I wanna be grown up And I ain't a kid no more I was when I was four Just look at these helicopter spotlights and singing on Flora. The lens flares bomb them and then they pretend this is an actual music video. Hmm, and then character Roman numerals are lovely. Swedish guy wears a bunch of stupid looking clothes. Including Minecraft Batman, I don't get it. But honestly, none of these clothes look really any more stupid than the rest of this. Um, this. You may have noticed the obnoxious back and forth, that's not me. I've noticed it, and there's nothing I can do about it. It's making writing this script tedious. Dorby German Access Television presents... 
I don't like where this is going. Mr. Poe und Yogel. Who's the strongest story in the world who's loved by every boy and girl and yak? It's Mr. Poe und Yogel. Um. What? Huh? What? What? I can hardly talk about the obvious tea posing that may or may not be intentional because I'm too caught up with wondering where the hell did this come from? He is very, 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 very nice. It's Mr. Pa! What's your... What the hell was that? Last time we saw a crime-destroying duo in the clutches of their evil nemesis, Dr. Derry. I'm a move. Now Dr. Derry has captured Mr. Poe's trusty assistant, Yogel. This goes on for six minutes, by the way. Oh, he will never find you this time. You see, my pasture is secured by electrical fencing and reinforced by ill-tempered chickens. I don't get it! Mr. Poe begins to pull way too much crap out of his butt. Don't read too deep into that. And this pogo guy sings. I kid you not. Red sunshine all over the place. Oh. He sings Tomorrow from Annie, horribly off key. I love you tomorrow, you're only a day. Oh. No. And Hammer Time. Oh, no, 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 can't touch this. Oh, no, 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 can't touch this. Hammer Time. It's Hammer Time. Why? I get it. He pulled a train out of his crotch somehow. Move on with the plot. Um, hit all three. What are you doing? Hit, hit, hit all three! The other two buttons can save millions of lives! What are you doing? Hit all three! What right decision is this? Don't worry, Yogel. There is always one thing that can stop a cow cold in his tracks. Oh, for God's sake, here's a cow! Not a deer, idiot! This cow takes way too bloody long to fall over, stupid trash guy! And what's with the lava lamp? Why are we focusing on this? Should I be scared? Not the demon alien! Not the demon alien! Oh my god, he can materialize out of lava lamps! Destroy the lava lamps! Destroy them all! I, uh... I think I should go and calm down quickly. Hey, you know what? All I need is a pair of overalls and I'm set! You know, I don't even need no shit! Oh, right, back now. What's happening? Wait, why are they hugging? So Disco Dorby over here is having a moral dilemma. Why? I'm sure you can. Swedish dude looks good in none of the clothes. So Disco Dude has to be brutally honest with him. Alright, but honesty, that's a nice moral. Uh, I guess every dorby has gotta make the right choice sometime. I don't know, man. I can't lie to you. Now mind you, my store is the bomb. There ain't nowhere in town that can slide with my inventory. But I think a special brother like yourself needs to go next door. See, I think they got exactly what you're looking for. <laughs> Oh, Danke, Dick, Danke. You have helped me so much. Darn, Tootin. Ah, uh, okay. This Swedish guy can only look good in Swedish clothing. Oh, boy, the implications on this are just great, aren't they? With our B plot finally over, we can focus on the A plot again. The kid Dorby's into the mansion, and... Okay, how do you make lighting so weird in animation? Why is this a reoccurring theme? Wait, why are they boars now? Why is this a thing they can do? It... Is that a staircase to hell? Wait, what's that? Are we gonna find catcher's mitts in here or something? Hey, look! What? An astro ball! Oh, an astro ball! What? Jimmer Hoff! Astro ball what? Hey, hey, son, you got any nanners? Hey! Oh, baby, you cl close that door then. Trying to get my heat on. Elvis? Nana's getting heat on? I'm highly disturbed right now. Hey! Hey, you all in Ah, not you! You're like Slenderman, only far worse! So Jack falls down a hole with the Astro Ball. What? Jack, being the couch turd that he is, doesn't want word to get out about him being trapped in the mansion. Or abandoned building, whatever the hell this is. Spoilers, the entire news gets involved. 
We here at Channel 2.3 feel their hurt, feel their pain, and feel their need. We feel their longing to be free. But they did skip school and disobey their parents, so I can't help but feel that somehow that they deserved it. They deserved it. They deserved it. Alright then, psychopath. Because these kids ditched school, it's perfectly 100% karma if one of them is trapped in this abandoned place and possibly injured. This is borderline school propaganda! They treat it like him ditching the school was a terrible decision. When the school in question taught him incorrect information and tried to murder him and his friend. Coming from someone who's had a... Less than pleasant experience with school. You can tell this ticks me off. Just a bit. Are you okay, son? We were worried sick about you. I'm sorry, Dad. I guess I really made a bad decision today. Son, there's gonna be plenty of time for you to grow up. And you know what? What? Tomorrow's a brand new day. I can feel a brand new day. We're at the end now. Oh, thank God. No! Stop holding me hostage! I wanna stop, please! Bay me up, Scotty. Okay, yep, yep, we're, we're done here. Let's just ignore the horrific animation as we always do. In all three of these stories, the moral is butchered. Jack and Mary Jane School tried to murder them, giving them a perfectly good reason to skip a day. Disco Guy was way too brutal with his honesty, and it may or may not have predicted the stupid concept of cultural appropriation. A Mr. Superhero was pushing a button to stop world hunger and to grant world peace too hard for you? Oh, and this orange thing needs to burn alive. What's next in the queue? My god, we go space dancing! Oh, I remember this! My childhood is in this VHS tape! Oh man, this is gonna be great! Strongest story in the world, strongest, strongest, strongest.